What up, what up, everybody out there in television land and the internet? Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, helping you render your imagination when it comes to video production, 3D animation, and visual effects on a small or no budget at all. So, I, I'm on the Dolly waiting list for a long time. And just in case you guys don't know what Dolly is or Dolly 2, it's this AI learning program. It says it right here. It's a new AI system that create realistic images and art from description. Wow. In natural language. Now, I, at first, I didn't even know what this was, to be honest with you. And I've been seeing everybody talking about it. People are a little afraid that the digital art industry is dead and photography is dead. And when you can just simply put a command into a... Uh, just type in a sentence and just make art, people are... It's a lot of people up in arms with this one. It's a lot of mixed feelings. And I was like, I'm just a guy looking from the outside in. And I said, hmm, let me get my feet wet and see what everybody's talking about. Of course, because, you know, I'm in the uh, 3D animation and digital art and all that kind of stuff. Those are the kind of things I like. So I got to keep up to date. Because if you don't keep up to date, you're going to be left behind, son. So anyway, me being a new... Uh, person to this I went on a waiting list and the waiting list you sign up and you put yourself on their waiting list and then you just have to wait I signed up for it and put myself on a waiting list and I just forgot about it I can't even tell you how long I've waited but a couple days ago I got an email saying bro <laughs> we accepted you now here we are so if you're <laughs> so th so after you go through all the signing up and all the things they ask you to do once you become a Dolly acceptee now you're here so let first of all you know you can just type in certain things it gives you examples here like you can just type in this and it will just make that for you or something similar you know it's kind of cool and right now it's kind of open beta so a lot of people can sign up for the waiting list and have access to it but this will become public one day uh, from what I heard so they give you 50 tries well they gave me 50 tries uh, of commands so basically I can type in anything here let's just say uh, I'm just gonna do one I have to, I think I have about 13 tries left over out of my 50 yeah I got 12 left over but I don't care I love this so much I actually gonna purchase some more credits so let's just waste one right now let's just say a man with the stick <laughs> in the air on a jetpack right uh, Pixar style render Okay, let's see. Which one is more decent? Let's look at all of them. This one's pretty decent. If I want, if I like this one, I can hit uh, make more variations. But then you lose more credit doing that. So every time you make a variation, you're going to lose some credit. So it's easy. Each time you do something, you basically lose a credit. You know, so you better, better spend your credits wisely. All right, so that looks pretty decent. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a stick, but you can say it's a stick. Um, this one right here looks almost what I'm looking for, but you know, you, you get the gist of it. So, but I would say the best thing is to know the correct command. So let's start from the bottom. This is one of my first ones. Mm, it it looks like a it looks like a explosion of pigeons. It looks like it looks like a pigeon Woodstock, if you ask me. I mean, it's giving me what I kind of asked for, but. Not kind of what I asked for. And that was my first, that was one of my first renders. So, yeah, I got that one. The second one is a gremlin human hybrid shooting lasers out of its eyes. So, th this is what I got when I typed in that right there. This one right here, you could say that's kind of, I mean, it's not really lasers. It looks like tears. Um, this one right here is kind of uh, accurate. I like this one. I, I didn't tell them what kind of style I wanted is did I want it realistic did I want it to be a cartoon so they gave me different renditions of it this one looks like the front of a Tekken <laughs> this looks like they could use this as a Tekken uh, cover art cover it looks like some like Hachi Mashima or one of those actors um, this right here you can say is the same thing too as well I mean it's not shooting lasers out of its eyes it's shooting lasers out of his finger but I guess that's pretty close to it so that's the result I got for that one all right, a realistic 3D render of a beautiful robot woman posing for a photo. So, hey, that's pretty good. But my question is, why'd they cut her head off? I mean, this doesn't make any sense to, to give me a cut-off head one. I, I don't know if that's just a credit grabber. 
you know, like, hey, let me give this guy a few bad ones, and then hopefully we'll give him a few good ones so he can keep buying credits. This is pretty decent, too, but the head is still cut off again. I don't like that one. I mean, I don't see the reason why the heads are cut off of all of them. I didn't... I, I would thought that after I put this command in here, which is give me... Well, this one right here, it it looks pretty decent, but it doesn't look like a robot woman. And this, These three look like a robot woman, but whatever. We'll just move on. Uh, and the thing, I think I did it again. I wasted a credit. I said, I got to see this. This was pretty good, too, as well. But it, once again, the head is cut off. So it's almost useless, right? I don't know. I mean, you spend another credit, it'll give you more of headless robot. So I said, all right, screw that. Let's move on to something else. And then I said, a grand cathedral made of gold, deep underwater, digital art, detailed, exotic alien world. And this is what it gave me, just from that command right there. So I was like, wow. I mean, hey, it actually, you know, it gave me something that I can use. But this one, I don't know what this is. It's some type of really bad oil painting that sat out in the sun too long. And then you brought it back and tried to restore it. That, So I don't know if, the, if that's the look you're looking for. This one right here, you know, it's pretty decent, too. It gives you that, like that, you know, um, in Zion, when they were about to, you know, all of them were having that big ginormous dance in there. And it was like... We are still here! Like that, you know. So, anyway, so moving on with that one. That's what I got from that command. And I did it a few more times. I just made it a different... Added different uh, words to the element. And it gave me these, which is awesome. Which is okay. I mean, are they usable? You can probably print this out in high res. And just put it in a picture frame and put it in a dungeon somewhere. <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's the look what you're going for. <clears throat> so I think I tried this out a couple more times. I like this one right here. This one's my favorite. What, what else do we have? Let's keep moving. Okay, so yeah, it's the same thing again, but it just gave me something different. So you get different renditions every time you hit generate. You know, a city of grand cathedrals in space, detail, 3D render, exotic alien world. You know, so these are the pictures that I'm going through. Now, this, mind you, this is all created by AI art. So I'm still puzzled how this is even happening. Now, this one right here, I think I copied and pasted this command from someone else's command. Just to see what it gives me. And uh, I don't remember the link. I should have kept the link. But this is what it gave me. But when I looked at the command that I, gave, that I took from uh, the other person, it didn't look like this. So even if you copied and pasted someone else's command... It may not give you the same exact thing that it gave someone else. So it's random. It's like it's random. You don't you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, where are we? This one right here was kind of strange. If you're looking for this kind of thing, uh, a 3D render of a man sitting at his desk, tired of his nine to five, dreaming about a better life. And this is what I got. I noticed with the words, the words are like goobly gobby or whatever. I guess it just I guess it doesn't know how to put words or it does not want to put words because remember in this sea of information that this AI learning tool is learning from it's taking information from uh, inputs from someone and as people are saying do not allow these specific particular words to go through I mean because it's pretty much in testing phase so these guys don't want to like shoot themselves in the foot before they come out the door if, if that's from what I'm seeing because you give somebody the wheel with this and there's no restrictions, forget it. can imagine the things that people will make on this thing. Uh, let me see. This one right here is I took... Oh, no, no. I, I wanted it to be in a Vanguard paint, so I just changed it to a Vanguard painting of a man sitting. And I'm like, this is what it gave me. Just like that. So I'm like, okay, it's giving me pretty decent feedback from the things that I want. But this is where it threw me off hard. Look at this. You see, I copied and pasted this from someone else's description. But it was supposed to be like a Middle Eastern woman. I just want to see what it would produce if I just changed a few words. And before it was originally a Middle Eastern woman. I just said an African woman of descent, you know, holding certain things. And this is what it gave me. I mean, you cannot lie. This is ridiculous. Th these women look real. I'm like, this looks like a real woman. I bet you one of these women, you'll be like, I know her from somewhere. She's a YouTuber, or she's a model, or she's an actress. This will look like real women. Now, look right here. 
I noticed right here, I don't know what it's doing to the face, if it was trying to give it a style, or if that was if it what what it thought this was supposed to be because that looks like scratches on her face but you can go into photoshop and touch that up real good and be you have a beautiful woman here i mean i'll tell you one thing for sure catfishing is going to go to a completely different level now bro because you could catfish people with these i mean if i showed this to somebody and they were like oh my god you're so beautiful i'll be like thank you and i'm in the background being me but i'm not really her you know breaking people's hearts so i did it again I took this one here. I like this one the best. So I said, let me make some variations of this one. And it gave me these different girls. And I'm like, whoa. And now this one right here, she's pretty, but they kind of messed the teeth up a little bit. Once again, you can still take this and go into Photoshop, touch this up, make it look brand spanking new. This one right here, too. Look at this. Whoa. That's beautiful. I mean, come on. That's ridiculous, right? This is all created by AI art. It's scary, yo. Shoot, what when we went in for the when we went in during the pandemic? Woo! I don't know what happened. It's like we went into a different dimension because we came back out and all this stuff was available. I am half man, half amazing. So it just gave me from this. I typed in I am half man, half amazing. I got that. So there you go with that one. This one is a little funny. A hybrid, a hyper realistic 3D render of Rick and Morty. So with this one right here, I get I don't know what the face with Rick is supposed to be on this one. Morty looks so oh boy, he looks like he is strung out on some great happiness here. And this one right here is a little interesting, you know. Uh, I, this one looks good actually. I like this one. I don't know why they put Morty without a shirt and made him look like 30 years older, you know. Um, this one right here gave me this one too. I don't know where ha what happened to Morty's hair. I don't know where it's pulling this information from, but it's it's this is what it's pulling it from from when I gave it to them. So that's funny. A realistic 3D render of a beautiful woman's head made from red rose inside epoxy art, layered of vib um, layers of vibrate um, of vibrant and colors. Now I don't know why I typed that. I just typed that for the hell of it. Out of all of them, I like this one the best. It looks, you know, it looks, I don't think I can make that. I mean, I can make it, but it'll take me a while to make that and texture it and everything. But it just made this in under 30 seconds. This is something else I got. This right here is pretty decent. You know, all these can still be used for some type of art. You know, I mean, they're not unusable. All right, so let's move on because I got so many of them. Um, this one right here, same thing, Crystal later, Lady and Crystal. Yeah, this one right here, I don't think it could be used for anything, to be honest with you. So, I mean, that was just me messing around. A phoenix, a woman, you know, a flaming hair phoenix. Uh, let's see the interesting ones. This one right here, learning to fly like Superman for the first time. You know, I would thought it would give me something a little better than that one. This one right here, I don't know what this is supposed to be. And this one right here is pretty decent. That one looks like it could, but I mean, can you use that for anything? This one right here looks like it was trying to do something real dope. But it just looked like they didn't put enough feather at the edges. You know, something like that. And this kid right here, I mean, I don't know what's in his right arm. But he almost looks like Batman and Superman kind of like splattered together but you know I mean it's decent this is a waste of a credit I mean really if you look at it but sometimes it's like rolling the dice with this mother effer uh, snap I, I forgot where I was uh, another one you know I'm just look at the look at the description here I can't read all of them just so you can get a better idea um, this one here too and everything you type in is pretty much public if I'm correct so better watch what you type in that sentence type of there because you typed the wrong thing boy the word gonna see how you think so um you know this is supposed to be this 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 didn't come out as decent as i wanted it to be but you know, i got that result for my little 50 tries voltron defender of the universe uh this is when i had to register you when you guys get accepted you'll you'll know what this is trust me you'll come back and say yeah i had to do the same thing too bro can't really get into that right now damn it where are we okay Trying to get through this without making a half an hour video. Same pigeons again. Messed that whole thing up. So this is what I typed in and I got this right here. You know, this is not a rat. That looks like a cute little squirrel. Taking charge. This guy looks like he's raiding havoc. This one right here looks like he's twerking. And this one right here looks lost. Like, oh, 
Governor, I can't find my way around. Where do we go from here? I'm the tallest one, but I just can't seem to make it. You know, stuff like that. Hugga, gugga, gugga. So just in case you guys have access to Dolly 2 now and you type in, at least you can know what you, what you can expect. And don't feel bad for copying and pasting certain people's commands. Just to see, you know, because it's, it's in test phase. And I'm not embarrassed. I'll be like, hey, this is a test phase. I was just copying and pasting. But speaking of now, here's where it gets interesting after I created these aliens and stuff like that. Now, I went to Pinterest. And this image here, I just... This is an artist who actually did this original image. I just took the image and uploaded it. And I said, make something similar to this. And this is what it gave me. Of course, this one's my favorite one. But look what it gave me. And I was like, okay, let's see if I take another Pinterest artist. This artist here from Pinterest. And I just put this image here. And now I make different copies of this image. Now, here's a question. Here's a question I have to ask. This guy here who made this, he does his hard work. He puts it together and then he makes this. And then some guy with an a with Dolly or some type of AI artificial intelligence art creation program comes in, takes the picture, and then just makes his or her own renditions of it, right? Is it now? Now, this right here, since I did this under my Dolly access, is this now mine? According to their rules, it is. I it's kind of foggy so you gotta look at it in its entirety because it, you it may be some hidden things back there that you have to look but I think it's a moral thing I mean this guy right here put his work into it and then here I come <laughs> just you know sloppy seconds hey. <laughs> and this guy here but it's just fun art but my question is I mean now what you know what I'm saying well, like what now what you you go ahead dude and you take three four days to make this and I'll just grab that off the internet and just uh make my own version and get props too right I mean basically I mean if you look at it so that's what I think about that same thing with this artist you know look at these this is it's not like this. this is one more detail much more better looking but this one right here is like yikes you put some more work into it you could probably you know make a better version in this who knows i don't know now dolly you could upload images and stuff but you can't like use realistic human faces they told me so i took a picture of myself this is me as a kid in, in elementary school or whatever it was and i just said all right i look crazy here with my little afro and i look like a young little whippersnapper and that's me when i was a kid that was like at least three thousand years ago and it, I just told it to take this picture and just generate something from this picture. And these three little guys here are now generated from that photo. Now, how on earth? What is going on here? Do we live in the future? I think so. That's me right there. Hey, Michael Hurdle, back, day, back in the days, did you think you was ever going to take this picture and make copies of yourself? I don't think so. I didn't think so. You go ahead and ask that Michael Hurdle. He wouldn't know. He'd be like, duh. Exactly. We got a few more images left. So I said, how could this dolly with some sneaks? So I took some sneakers. It's the original. And I made it. Well, I cannot say I made anything because I'm not doing anything but sitting here just yapping and pushing the button and just typing in commands. I don't even have to pick up a pen. And here I am making these sneaks. Look at that. That's it. Dolly made these sneakers from the sneaker that I took a picture of. That's the original. So you can take pictures He's like, hey, I like these style of sneakers. Let me see if I can make my own type of sneakers. You know, you never know. And uh, I took this sneaker here. This is the original. And it made that. And that looks pretty decent. That's a sneaker computer generated from AI. So that's crazy right there in itself. And uh, this one right here, I took the original one that I took from the original one that I took from the print Pinterest guy. And then I made more. So, what on earth? So, this is the copy of the Pinterest that I said make more uh, variations of. And it made this. This one right here looks crazy. That looks like you could put that on a Star Wars movie as something you ride. Or something that tells you, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be in this quadrant. Shoot him immediately. Like that. And this guy's he <laughs> So you want to make a bargain? Come with me. Like that guy, he's like, oh, I don't know. 
really? I'm not a part of this. I just look like them. You get what I'm saying? So it made different versions. So if you look at this last version it made and you go back to the Pinterest version, would you have known I had taken that picture and made this from it? That's crazy. How is art going to function these days? I don't know. You tell me, shoot. I'm just new to this. I'm just having fun with this. After a while, I'm going to get bored of it and probably not pick it up again, but I'm having fun right now. I took a strawberry from this stock-free website that I uh, like to get my uh, stock-free photos and videos from, absolutely free. And I said, all right, let's see if I can upload this to Dolly and see what it can create. And whoa, ho, ho, look at these strawberries. If I showed you this strawberry right now and I was like, yo, was that AI generated? You'd be like, no, it wasn't. This one too, AI generated. Look at that. That looks like I could take a bite of it right now. Like it even made the cup, and it made some little dirt thing on the side of the cup. I'm like, look at the detail. It even blurred out the background for you. And it even made that little fake wood thing there. That's not even real. That's computer generated. Shoo, look at that. Now, that's the original, but shoo, if you put them all together and I didn't tell you, would you have known is the million-dollar question. <laughs> but let's go on to the last one I generated, which is this one right here. So, you know, that's just, let me see how much more credits I have left. I have 11 credits left. Yikes. But you can buy more credits, too. You can just go buy some. And I think when I clicked on it, let's click on it. Let's see what happens. 15 credits. I mean, $15 will give you 115 credits. Now, that's still decent for someone like me who's just, you know, messing around. Because um, I started off with 50 credits. Um, so, why not? But look at these strawberries. It's crazy. I feel sorry for the digital artist because now somebody can hire me. I was like, do you, do you need me to take a picture of some strawberries? Let me go on Pinterest real quick and grab somebody's image. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, this is going to be a brand new world. I mean, and this is one day going to become public. So, you know, you can have access to it and create the stuff that you want. And look at all these amazing things. Before I go ahead and mosey on out of here, because I think I've been talking way too long about this. Um, go here. <clears throat> this is uh, a book that someone fantastic created that I found on the internet and it tells you on you know different commands and stuff and somebody took the time to make this so I definitely will put a link in the description to this but you can get different commands different positions you can tell them what to do you can say a camera angle at low angle you know aerial view of a lady doing this or you know camera settings lens flares all that kind of stuff you can just tell it i say while you're waiting for your dolly 2 access look at these uh pdfs study it so that when you get access to it you won't waste your credits like i did and and just for the record uh, when you get your credits, don't blow through all your credits in one day, okay? Uh, do like, you know, do like 10 credits an hour. And then save like at least 20 or 25 or 30 or whatever you do for the next day. Because Dolly will frown upon you blowing through your credits like that. I don't know why. I guess because, you know, this is taking up their processing time. Uh, when you hit a credit, when you hit a command, it's being generated somewhere, somehow, and somebody's paying for that. So they don't want you to go too ham. That's why right now you're on a, one of those uh, waiting lists. But this is awesome. You can do 3D illustrations, the work, son. So, uh, you know, tell me what you think about it. Tell me what your opinions are because I'm puzzled. I'm, I'm a little bit like, whoa. I mean, I can't compete against a computer. Like, look at this right here. That's crazy. That's bananas, son. Look at that. From a command. This is where I got the command with the Pixar thing. You could just take other people's commands and just add a few different things in it. And it just like, what the hell? This looks like Pixar made it. Am I right, son? This crazy. Look at that. I mean, if you really look deep, you can see that it's a little bit of smudging and things don't look completely solid and round. But from a back, you know, from just looking like it right now, you're like, holy smoke, this looks kind of good. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Let's just do one random command. Let's say I'm feeling lucky. Surprise me. L let it surprise me. And let's see what it does just before I go on out of here. Let's just waste that credit. Uh, I think I might get some more credits because it's like, you know, $15 and you can play around with it again. And if you like this style of video, just let me know. I'll do some more. If you, know, if you leave some comments in there. Oh, snap. 
a bowl of soup that is also what a portal to another dimension oh that's dope all right let's see which one is the best one this one looks like a galaxy but it looks just like throw up in a bowl and i don't know this i don't know what this this could look like uh, to the underverse through a bowl and um i don't know this one just looks like a stale sunny side up egg that just been left on the table for two years and this one right here once again it looks like colorful throw up with a piece of pork in the middle so hey i mean it did it it did it you know so have fun with it i would say so if you guys are waiting for early i mean for your access man have some fun take some tips there's tons of videos out there i've been looking at tons of videos all over those internets there and uh more to come so tell me what you think about this leave your comments in there and if you like um if you like this style of video you can always like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave your comments and i do answer comments though too so holla at your boy talk to you later